What Really Happened to Richard Thomas, Star in the Waltons Richard Thomas was born Richard Earl Thomas on June 13, 1951, in Manhattan, New York City, U.S. His father, Richard S. Thomas, and his mother, Barbara Thomas, were both dancers. They were the founders and owners of the New York School of Ballet. Richard majored in English and Comparative Literature at Columbia University in 1969. He studied Chinese as an elective subject and later changed his major to Asian Studies. He got an early exposure to theater, owing to his parents' profession, and often accompanied them to theater shows. His first brush with the stage was when he was just six years old, at one of his father's plays. Despite being born to dancer parents, he never attended dance classes and was more inclined toward acting. His professional acting career began with a role in the Broadway production, Sunrise at Campobello. In 1963, he acted in the play, Strange Interlude, directed by Jose Quintero. Before he began college, he had already bagged roles in two movies, Winning, and Last Summer. In 1971, he was cast as John Boy in Walton's. He left Columbia University during his junior year when he bagged this role. Thomas started his career with a Broadway production named Sunrise at Campobello at the age of seven in 1958. His first screen appearance was in the Hallmark Hall of Fame presentation of A Doll's House in 1959. In the 1960s, he acted in a few soap operas, such as The Edge of Night, A Flame in the Wind, and As the World Turns. In 1969, he got his first major break in the movie Winning. Soon after, he appeared in The Last Summer. In 1971 he starred in Red Sky at Morning, a Universal Pictures movie. Thomas got worldwide recognition as an actor when he appeared as John Boy Walton Jr. in the TV series The Waltons in the 1970s. He also directed five episodes of the series. Richard left the show after his five-year contract expired. In 1971, he starred in the CBS TV film The Homecoming, A Christmas Story, which was later adapted into a series. He appeared in it until 1977. In 1972, he appeared in a negative role of a murderer and rapist named Kenny in the movie You'll Like My Mother. He played lead roles in the movies The Red Badge of Courage in 1974 and All Quiet in the Western Front in 1979. Some of his other works include the series, Roots, The Next Generation's 1979 and Stephen King's, It, Series 1990. In the 1980s, he acted in a few TV movies, such as, Living Proof, The Hank William Jr. Story 1983, Hobson's Choice, 1983, The Master of Voluntre, 1984, and, Final Jeopardy, 1985. In 1989, he appeared in the Broadway play Fifth of July. During the same year, he also starred in Battle Beyond the Stars, playing Shad. He played the title role in the Shakespearean play Richard II in 1993, directed by Michael Kahn. He garnered critical acclaim for his performance. In 1995, he appeared in the Hallmark Channel movie, The Christmas Box, directed by Marcus Cole. Richard delivered remarkable performances in plays such as Hamlet, 1987, Peer Gint, 1989, Richard III, 1994, and Tiny Alice, 1996. He produced the movie. Camping with Camus 2000 and co-produced What Love Sees 1996, Summer of Fear, 1996, and For All Time, 2000. He continued his theater stint with plays such as Art, 
by Yasmina Reza 2001 at London's West End Theatre. He was also part of Democracy by Michael Frayn, 2004, The Stendhal Syndrome, 2004, and As You Like It, 2005. He appeared as the host in the PAX TV series It's a Miracle and was also part of the series Just Cause, 2003. In the 2007 national tour of the play, Twelve Angry Men, by Reginald Rose, Thomas played the critical role of, Juror 8. He starred in the, Broadway, play, Race, by David Mamet. The play also featured James Spader, David Allen Greer, and Kerry Washington. In 2011, he featured in the, Broadway, play, Timon of Athens. Thomas played the role of FBI agent Frank God in the series The Americans in 2013. In 2017, he starred in the Broadway revival of The Little Foxes and got nominated for the Tony Award for the Best Featured Actor in a Play. In December 2018, he played the role of Ebenezer Scrooge in A Musical Christmas Carol. He will be playing the role of Atticus Finch in the Broadway adaptation of To Kill a Mockingbird. The show will begin its run for two years in August 2020. Marriage Life Thomas got married to Alma Gonzalez on February 14, 1975, and had a son, Richard Francisco, and triplet daughters with her. The couple divorced in 1993. Following his divorce from Alma Gonzalez, Thomas married Georgiana Biscoff on November 20, 1994. He has a son, Montana, from his second marriage. Thank you for listening to the story about the life of Richard Thomas.